Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to install an NVMe SSD in your Dell Precision 7780 laptop. Before working on the laptop, make sure the power is off. Remove any dongles, any SD cards, or any peripherals. Before working on your laptop, it's best practice to wear an earth band. If you do not have an earth band, make sure to touch the ground prior to opening the laptop. That will reduce the static buildup on your body. Using the star screwdriver, unscrew all the screws on the sides. Unscrew these screws. Notice that they are actually at a slight angle. Notice that these are unscrewed, but they do not pull out. When opening the front cover, we start here, which is the bottom left side, the side where the card reader is. So if this is the laptop, we're starting over here. Now, very important is notice this angle here. The back cover actually cups around, around the inside here. So when I open it, I'm gonna first remove the front part and then I'm going to let this lift at an angle in order to clear this curve here. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm going to start here with my pry tool. Okay. Now I carry on on the front of the laptop. Now notice that I've opened the front first. Now I just go around the sides to make sure nothing is cooked. So notice that this is the front and that is coming apart. Notice that the back is still around that bend. So I'm actually opening this like a scissors. So I'm lifting from the front and then I go a little bit back and I can remove the back cover. It's very important to notice that the back cover, which is aluminium, leans inwards like that and that is why when you open it you have to open it at a slight angle now just for noting this unit does not have the safety door for the nvme card this is a single back cover as a matter of precaution i disconnect the battery by finding this tab here and pull upwards pull up like that and i leave the battery disconnected while i install the nvme drive on this laptop, I already have two SSDs installed, one over there and one over there. I have two spaces over here, which I can now use. I'm going to use this one. In order to install the SSD, I loosen the screw on the side here. The screw's been loosened, but I need to remove this thermal cover from this place over here. So I lift it up into the side, just gently, and then I can remove the cover. There's a screw here, which I'll be using to fasten down the SSD. Now I can insert my SSD inside here, coming in at a slight angle. Once I've inserted that, I can replace the screw. Be sure to remove this protective cover on the thermal tape. Start by seating the thermal cover into that space over there. There's a lip there and there's a groove there or a space there. So I allow it to go in there. Then I go down slightly at an angle and I press down and I seat it into this loop over here. And I replace the screw that holds the thermal cover and the SSD in place. And I reconnect the battery. Make sure the battery connector is seated. Make sure that it is sitting snugly. The white on the side is almost at the same level as the black connector. When replacing the back cover, notice the ports here for the speakers. These must go towards the front. Those ports must cover these two speakers. Now, because of the slight angle along the back of the cover, when I close the cover, I need to start at the back at a slight angle and then go down. So note, I'm here at the back and I seat the back first. Notice how there's no gap here between the back cover and the unit. And that's because I seated the back first. Notice that. And now once it's seated, I can depress the cover. Make sure there are no gaps around the back cover and the unit. And now I can tighten all the screws. Tighten all the screws. Notice that they are actually at a bit of an angle. 